Hello and welcome back to StarCraft. As today we're going to be showcasing another matchup here, this time with Han and Horner. Uh, and this one is going to be a long one because Han and Horner has, um, well, versus Zagara, you've got a long grind fest out. If you guys know, Zagara is like the queen of the late game, the queen of Banes, and there is plenty of explosions to be had. So I'm going to be opening up my standard opener here with the slowing of attack speed, the tar bombs, as well as a Hellbat and Hellion, just to see what my opponent is. Looks like my opponent, surprise, is a Zagara. And this one, this is one where I know I have to immediately go to tier two and start teching up to Vikings. So the thing with Zagara is Zagara just kind of rules the sky in terms of Han and Horner versus Zagara. So you really can't go to the sky as Han and Horner. But you can go to the ground, and Vikings are really good versus ground units, especially clumped up ground units. So the strategy here is I just go ground to Deimos Vikings, complete with their AoE ability, and eventually we get such a thick wall of lead that nothing Zagara can get anywhere close to us. And that is our goal today, and that is why this is considered to be one of the counters, although it is not, it is not a um, straight up just, I just beat you down from the beginning of the game, no no no. I don't know. Uh, we may... We'll get ahead of Zagara here for like a wave or two, just because Zagara has to get to tier 3 before actually getting out any units, whereas we don't have to do that, and therefore we win by default. However, um, once the aberrations come out, we don't have, you know, three dozen Vikings sitting in a corner waiting to give them a, an endless wall of lead. Yeah, lacking that... We're not gonna be winning our wave here. It's not that we win just super hard on the against Zagara, it's that we have eventuality because we have a unit composition that eventually just beats up anything Zagara can field by virtue of just having a wall of lead that beats every single unit on the ground. And that's gonna be a moment that may take us a while to get to. So we'll get to see just how long it takes. Um, really hoping our teammates' computers have have time to handle this. So we, sh as time goes on, we will be able to handle more and more chunks of the wave at once. Obviously, with the Damus Viking's blink ability and the shredder rounds, we can do a ton of damage. So we'll see how well we clean up here. I'm not sure we're going to win this wave in particular, mostly because I have to clean up Kerrigan. Um, how is this going to go? Are we all right here? All right, I think I think we will win this wave. Kerrigan wasn't that big of a concern comboed with... Oh, actually, nope. Nope, Zagara is still a good unit. Okay. Let's get another Viking out here. Does this player have a lot of swarm? No. Uh, let's go ahead and leap up into the air, get electric damage dealt. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. Get another Viking out. Third Viking should have us guarantee the win, although I think this is the wave where we'll have the first enemy aberration out. I think the difference is whether or not the opponent has sold off his initial free Baneling. You see my teammate has a Baneling here. Uh, you can actually sell that off for 70 minerals, and that can be the difference between getting an Aberration out or not at this time. But I think he will have it out by now. Uh, so I'll want to have the Tactical Jump. Oh, he's got two of them out. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, tactical jump time. This will enable us to escape with some of our Vikings once the Banelings start coming in. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. Oh jeez, it's so strong. Okay. Let's keep this going. Oh dear, the Mecha Ultralis are coming in. Mecha Ultralis will beat the Strike Goliath very quickly, mostly because Mecha Ultralis have the stun ability, but they stun mechanical units. Which will kind of end any hope of uh, any hope of Goliath being useful. Okay, let's get these Shredder rounds. Beautiful. And with this, oh dear. Oh, this is not not great. Rem Wait, have I done the video on Kerrigan versus Zagara yet? Because it looks like we're we're gonna have a rough time of things this time around, boys. Alright, please Zagara take out the brood so I don't have to. There we go. Alright, you see the slow coming in. And just like that, I think we should win this. He's gonna have one wave of banelings. 
All right, good. We do win this. I do not expect that victory to be um, long. Those Banelings will come in very quickly to clean us up as time goes on. Let's get into the air. Thank you. Very good. Usually don't start winning this matchup until you have like two to three rows of these Vikings. But once you do, then Zagara doesn't have any options that come back from it. Zagara is not a commander that has a lot of options. He's very very single minded it has one option only and if that option doesn't work then Zagara just kind of loses the game which is you know blessing and a curse makes it easy to play one of the easiest commanders to play it's a curse in that once you have someone that can deal with it there's no way out of it and there's no two ways about it all right slow down those units thank you very good nice i'm kind of surprised that we're having this much success this early on um it's just going to be because my teammates are pushing far enough into my opponent's wave here that it's making the difference. Let's get up into the air. Kill off Gary. I wanted to keep them on the ground to distract the... distract those terrible Mega Ultralists from doing the damage that they so desperately wanted to do to my teammate. But... At some point you do have to kill off Gary. There we go. <sighs> One more. Cool. As long as we keep our guys in a corner where all of his units have to eventually slide around to us, we should be alright. Yeah, we're, that's a lot of damage being taken on my opponent's wave here, on Purple's wave here. Guys, remember to make sure to give some love to Raggy for volunteering to help out with this video. <laughs> As much as I do a shout out every so often on the Discord for videos, specifically for this series, I do always need people to help out with this. I was going to get up to the air. Oh, I already got stunned into the living. Actually, I was wrong. I was just slow because he doesn't have the stun yet. Good to know. Okay, let's go ahead and get one damage upgrade for it extra DPS against those terrible, terrible aberrations. <clears throat> um, this is not going to go well, is it? Nope, not at all. Alright, going to the air first. Let's clear these mutas out before they do terrible things to us. This is going to be bad. Alright, there are aberrations on us. Come on, Blink. Blink, save us. Oh, sweet Jesus, the Wall of Blood saved us. All right, nice. All right, get up into the air. Kill off Gary. Oh, up into the air, please. Kill, Kill off Gary. No more extra ultras coming to help. Worth. Let's get another segment of Vikings in the back. Actually, let's go ahead and get a refinery first. It's almost 10 minutes. For a unit composition like this, it is very good to not gas immediately. Just so that you have the ability to not leak endlessly, because if I were to start gassing up, that would be less Vikings, and then I'd be leaking aberrations into my teammate's wave, and that's just a bad show all around. Don't want to be doing that one. So rather than do that, it's just better for me to not gas and instead clean up the waves so I don't have to worry about losing the middle, don't have to worry about leaking into the teammates, and therefore they have less chance of leaking into me. Beautiful. It's so pretty. Just an indefinite wall of lead. Cutting down all of the Zagara things. Now in most matches, I do want to stress this out, you would not expect to be winning this early on. Although I, about the 10 minute mark is where you would expect to winning, so we are we are getting up to that point. I do want to get one more of these, and also another Hellion. Uh, they just serve as a quick little, like ablative armor plating for our, our Vikings here. Let them do that much more damage before they really start dying to banelings and explosions and such. Alright, there's the bunker taken. That's... Whew. 
Banelings do terrible, terrible damage to Banelings. Is he gonna wipe out every single... Yeah, wipes my ally, wipes out every single Baneling on my opposing Zagara's team. Yeah, that's about as one-sided as it's gonna get. And we're... We are there now with the... Okay, no, up into the sky, please. Up into the sky, please. Okay, they're stunned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, Damus Viking, landing behind them and killing off every single one of those, those infestors. You did good work, son. Keep it up. Let's keep this going. This is it's, this strategy is just so much fun because it, there's no other commander where you can get such a dense wall of lead that things just evaporate when they try to get to you. Just just fully disintegrate as they as they come to attack you. There's, there is no other commander which can get away with that. It's it's just Han and Horner. Especially against Zagara, which is just the ultimate ultimate commander of marching endlessly toward the opponent. It's it's really quite enjoyable to watch. It's like watching explosions in forts. You can't get enough of them. Alright, shut this down so that they don't try to fly away. Good job, team. Get him to the air, please. Disable ground mode so that you don't get launched. Thank you. Enable ground mode. Kill off all of those investors, please. Good job, team. You did it. You've actually split their wave. Not quite in half. Are we just going to clear two waves here? Just about quit solo two waves there. Almost. Honor Horde of Vikings. Quite the strong. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. It was the other Raven that got all those kills. Oh, that was that was enjoyable to watch. Don't mind me, just enjoying watching so many explosions and kills all at once. It's really quite the Hunter Hunter is so much fun, it really is. Let us see. We got this guy going here. You know, I was expecting this match to go longer. Um, but. It's, it's really not all that bad if it's this short. It's, it's quite a good showing. We saw everything we needed to see. Obviously, there's some play you want to do here. Let's disable this. Get up at the air, please. There is some play you want to have around... Okay, land here. Around the other t player's waves and such, but... We should be good to clean all this up. Yeah, we've definitely split the wave in half this time. And for it, we clean up this other half without too much of a consequence. I want these guys to stay on the ground. That way they can... Because their DPS is just that much better on the ground. We're only going to get one of these this time. Uh, I'm not too interested in these upgrades right now. Uh, if I were to have more of those units in the field, which will happen eventually, eventually I would stagger in some more Hellbats and some more Hellions as we flesh out our Deimos Vikings. But we're not quite there yet. We've only got two of each, so I'm not particularly interested in those other upgrades. Uh, specifically, the uh, Hellbat line has the Fear ability on death, which is really very strong versus the apparitions and the Zagara as a whole just because it stops Zagara in their tracks but now we're just about completely offset so there's not a whole lot of uh, not a whole lot of Zagara slaughtering right about now okay kill off the lurkers turn around kill off their backline support units and then push forward and clean everything up it's like playing Mech Warrior all over again. You just have a bunch of a bunch of mechs walking around, taking things out. All right, which one of you got it? Which one of you got the last hit? Four kills. Someone, 17 kills. There you are, 17 kills right there. That did it. That's probably going to be the end. Actually, Zagar is really very good at kicking things up. Never mind. GG! Alright guys, if you want to see more videos about this explaining hard counters and how to deal with them, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we've got more videos coming out soon. But for now, I'll see you guys later!